Welcome back to another episode of Inscription. I'm Mr. Habanero, and I'm ready to play more. I can't, I can't stop, won't stop. I just can't. Um, last episode, we poked out her eye super early, um, and uh, to beat the boss, which was really cool. And uh, we're going Team Bug this time, just to try out something different, even though clearly Team Elk is the superior team. Um, but we got a new eyeball, and it gave us magic powers, so we have to test out the eyeball with magic powers. we got to look around. So that's what we're going to do to start here. Oh, look at that. I can already see different things going on here. So, okay. Alright, I already see what's going on. So that one goes right there. Uh, this one goes here. And then this one goes here. Hey! Stunted wolf. Get the film roll before he sees it. Now! What are you doing over there? Turn to face me. What are you up to over there? Reborn hope. Achievement unlocked. Uh, nothing? Don't worry about it. Everything's fine. Just hanging out. You know me. I don't... I still don't understand this. Like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Because I can't, like, interact with this. Um, I guess I need... I, I have to get my hands on a mantis, and then I have to... I'm going to try to replicate this board state at some point. That's the only thing I can think of to do. Um, yeah. Otherwise, I don't know what it would be for. Nothing in here. And it's still the same. I still don't know how to solve this puzzle. It just, it, no matter how I look at it, this puzzle doesn't make sense to me. Because I understand that it's trying to distribute damage. This piece is unmovable. Like, there's, I can't, I can't move that piece at all. Yeah, and that one doesn't move either. I don't know. I really, I, I just, I, I gotta step away from this one because I have no idea how to solve it at all. Uh, teeth! Give me your teeth. I don't know what these are for, but I'm gonna use them at some point for something. Oh, wait, I think I'm actually collecting them. And, uh, like, I can use them for pelts, I guess. I hope that one, at some point, I'll be able to figure out how to use, um, the... I don't know what these are for. Huh. Let's see. Maybe, maybe the blotched out ones will, nope, I still can't see them. Yeah. Okay. Well, I guess that's it. All right, let's go. Let's get back into this game, shall we? So I got a wolf card and I got film. Um, curious as to what that might be, but I want to see what this is. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Ooh, bones. Hmm. Let's go for, for a blood price. I want a low blood price creature. I'm actually... I'm not sure what that is. I don't know what that is either. I've gotten that guy before. I'll take him. I guess. Apparently I'm going tentacle tribe. <laughs> Tentacle tribe, baby! Let's go! Oh, man. Um, oh, black goddess. Come on. You're gonna tempt me with a black goddess? You know I'm gonna go for it. Give me that black goddess. Another black goddess? You're gonna give me two black goddesses? I'm gonna take it. Why would I pass up two black goddesses? You're crazy. Get out of here. All right, let's go. What are we doing? I ought to thank you. How has it been? It has been quite bad. I am trapped in the body of a stoat, in the paper of a card. I see that. And I have, of course, set up a way to reset once more. Go on. Our player friend here, they already hold the key. Okay. 
So is the stoat like a robot? He's turning into a robot! He's a robot stoat! That's interesting that this guy is only one blood. Very interesting indeed. Okay, so... Go for the squirrel. And then... Uh, go for the stoat. And... Yeah. And then go for a black goatus. And then... Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Uh, okay, well, I'll get a squirrel next turn, and then we'll bring down the hurt. Or I could just go ahead and go for it right now. I'm gonna go for it right now, I don't care. Yeah. Oh, come on! I kill him a lot, I'll admit it, I, I, I do. <laughs> it's probably not the nicest thing of all time, but I do kill him quite often. <laughs> yep, three to the face, take it. Mm-hmm. Uh, I do kind of need uh, a squirrel, so we'll put the squirrel there. We'll go for the stunted wolf. We'll put him right there. Here we are! I don't know what his voice is yet. Yep, yep, there we go. Game's over! That's the power of Black Godus, you guys. That's the power of Black Godus. Oh! I can look at my deck! Interesting. Okay. Hmm. Okay, this goes to totem, so I probably want to go this way. So we'll go for a random card, and then we'll try and get a totem. My plan is to do bugs, so... Rat King. Magpie. The covet is magpie. It can fetch any card in your deck. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Mantis! I need this guy. The Furfid Mantis. His prying claws strike both to the left and right. Well, I'm gonna go for Mantis for two reasons. One, because I need more bugs on my team. And two, because I have a combo I need to build. It's whatever this is. So, Squirrel, Mantis. Got it. Um, so, we're gonna try and do that. All right. So now we want to go to the totem to build a bug totem. The decrepit woodcarver appeared before you. She moved with a certain vigor in spite of her considerable age. Uh, that jumps into blocks. That's stinky. Stinky lowers power. Um. I mean, admittedly, like, making all my creatures lower the power of his creatures is pretty decent. Auto-blocking ain't so great. Let me let me take a look at the rule book just to make sure. What are we doing here? What are we doing? Hold on. So, stinky creature posing a card bearing the sigil loses one power. That's pretty good. Um... Okay. Um, guardian. When an opposing creature is placed opposite to an empty space, a card bearing the sigil will move to that empty space. Mm, I actually do think that it will be better if I do stinky. I really think that. Card bearing the sigil will move to that empty space. Then again, it'll also protect me. But the thing is, too, is that then I can't really depend on my bugs being able to stay in a space where I want them to be. Because that gives him control over my creatures. So I think I'm going to go for Stinky. I think that'll be better. Yeah, Stinky Buggies. All right, let's go. You hunch down to place her offering in your pack. When you looked up again, the ancient woman had vanished. Alright, so stinky bugs, let's go. Alright, battle time. I guess we get to finally try out our stinky bugs. Okay. Um. Alright, so the obvious choice here is to go for a squirrel 
and put it here, obviously. And then kill him, put Tentacle Monster, who's got a power of two right now, right there. It's gonna deal two damage, that's right. My evil, disgusting Tentacle Monster shall defeat you. Um, I'm just looking to draw right now, so that'll be fine. Let's go. Three damage. Ooh, ooh, ooh. The, the, oh, he killed my guy. That's sad. Well, then that means I have to get something beefy out. So that's actually a problem. We'll put the squirrel here. Actually, yeah, we'll just pass the turn. I gotta take a serious amount of damage. That's bad. That's bad, MK. Okay? Um, I guess maybe a goat might help. Maybe I'll take the goat. Or I could just go for, no, let's, let's just go for a squirrel. We'll see where it takes us. No, there we go. And then, there we go. And then put him there and then we're gonna go. Okay, so that deals that. Okay, but I still have to worry about that. Sketchy, sketchy, sketchy. Mantis! Oh, but the problem is, is that, um, mm, I can't make the board state that I want. Uh, let's see here. I guess I'll just, I don't want to use my black goddess right now. Let's go ahead and pass a turn. There we go. Oh no, this is bad. Um... Yeah, I'm getting into some trouble here. You can't play that presently, but your squirrel is available. Uh, okay, so where should we put Mantis? I'm gonna go ahead. Oh! Oh no, I screwed it up! I was supposed to put, ugh, I screwed up. I was supposed to put the Mantis here and the squirrel here. That's all right, we'll, we'll see what happens. Hey, he can't deal damage though, that's cool. All right, let's go, pass the turn. Yeah, I might be dead. Ooh, lucky. Okay, so now we can actually do the combo that we need. Yeah, so that unlocked the thingamajig. I don't know what that's gonna do, but um, I guess I will just, I might die here. Oh, wait a minute, a hook. Can anything save me right now? Give me that alpha. Can I take the alpha? Okay, I can't take the alpha, but I can take the bullfrog. There's no space to pull that one into. I guess I'll just take his bullfrog, it's fine. Anything to keep me alive right now, honestly. And then pass the turn. There we go, there we go. Yeah. His stump hurt me. I don't like that. Not a fan of that. Okay. I don't know what that does. Yeah. Um, I'm probably about to die here. Yeah, this is not looking too good. This is really super not looking too good. It's got two power. Yeah, these cards are killing me right now. Game's over. I died. Okay, well, uh, bug team was not so good, I guess. <laughs> team Elk! Why, I need to go Team Elk! All right, it's painful to see. Oh wait, I just only lost one of my two lives. All right. Um, well, we're gonna try to stick to, well, you know what, actually, let's go see if this did anything. One. Is that a one? I just picked something up. I don't know what that was. Oh, it's a flower. Where would I put a flower? Here? Maybe? I mean, I don't know where else I would put it. Yeah, it's supposed to be put there. Clearly they want me to put it there. All right, I'll just put it there, I guess. Hmm. Okay. I wonder what I do with these. I feel like at some point I'll be able to like do something with these. All right, let's pick some more bugs up. 
Come on, Bug Tribe, baby. Yep, yeah, there it is. All right, give me the Bug Tribe, baby. Another Mantis. Okay, let's go, Mantis. Ooh, I can make a super powerful Mantis, actually. Oh, I should power up one of my Mantises. Oh, yeah. The warm light of campfire was a welcome sight. Though the ten hungry eyes around it dampened the greeting. Warm a creature by the fire enhances power, said one. You got it. Um, the strange larva. Uh, or the ringworm. Um... So the Strange Larva is a rare card, and it's supposed to be pretty strong and does cool stuff at some point. I want to make this Ringworm relevant. Stop this. Hmm. Um, we'll put the Ringworm in here to make it relevant. So there we go. It's got one power now. The survivors were right about the flames. They had enhanced the creature's power. Spotting a few of the survivors drooling, you made a hasty retreat with your ringworm. All right. So ringworm can actually deal damage now, which is probably pretty good. Okay, this looks like it's going to be a totem fight, so hopefully we can do okay here. Oh, he's playing with serpents. So you found a stunted wolf. I have seen this. Play out enough times to know what a plan is in motion. Make haste. Stink bug. Oh, that's right, Stinkbug is a bug. Wow. Tribalism for the win here, apparently. Um, bones and, ooh, a rare card, huh? Let's see, the Rattler. You can lower its power. Hmm, well, we don't want the larva to die. So, let's go ahead and put a squirrel in here. And then a strange larva over on this side where it's open so that it can do what it needs to do for a little bit. And that's going to be the turn. Yeah, that hurts. That hurts pretty bad. Um, hmm. Well, I really need a squirrel, so that's just going to be how it is. And we're going to throw in the ringworm. And we're gonna throw in the stink bug right there. There we go. Masterful. Okay. Oh, it's a strange pupa now. Okay, cool. I'll just pass the turn. Yeah, get out of here. Okay. Ooh, Mothman. Oh, seven power, baby. Damn. That's rad as hell. Uh, well, I have to draw a card, so give me a card. Bullfrog, huh? Um... Oof. Uh... I'll keep everything out how it is right now. Ooh, Mothman, baby! What's up? Damn. Um, alright, well, I will... I really need a squirrel. We will go ahead and put the bullfrog right there. Yeah. And then we're going to pass the turn because he's probably dead. He's probably dead. Yeah, get out of here. Damn, Mothman. You scary. You scary. All right. Well, I want more tribal cards. So here we go. Even though I could enhance the power of what I've got, um, I do want to kind of enhance my tribes. So here we go. Cockroach, all right, sure. Comes back to my hand if I need him to. Seems reasonable. And we're gonna pick up an item. Okay. Uh, yeah, removal please, thank you. What is this for? Should I just take it? I'm gonna take it just to see what happens. I don't know what it's gonna be for, but I wanna like have the opportunity to use it for something. So, we'll see what happens. We're gonna go in for this battle. Well, you know what? We'll do this battle, the boss battle, in the next episode, okay guys? It'll be a lot of fun. So, we'll wait until the next episode. We'll, we'll have a good time. And uh, I'm, kinda, I'm kinda hoping Bug Tribe is gonna pan out well for me, hopefully. I, I don't know, but we'll see. 
I mean, Elk Tribe was kind of broken, but then again, it's because I had that totem that made them all immortal and it was crazy bonkers and all that insane Black Goddess nonsense that I was pulling in every game. That was truly ridiculous, but maybe we can get Bug Tribe to be pretty awesome. We'll see. Um, but anyways, thank you guys so much for being here. This was a good time. Um, I love playing this game. I was not expecting this to become a series in the way that I've made it into a series at this point. Um, but it's just so damn fun, I can't stop playing it. Like, seriously. So, I'll see you guys in the next one, okay? Um, thank you all for being here. Go ahead and uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below if you're playing the game or want to tell me about strategies or something I might have missed. Um, yeah, tell, just give me some tips. Some tips and tricks, baby. Give me some tips and tricks or something. And uh, hit the subscribe. Join join the spicy crew. It's a good time over here. Hit that notification bell so you can know whenever I'm going to post a video or go live or whatever it is I'm doing. I greatly appreciate it. Um, check in the description below for all the wonderful donation links such as PayPal or Streamlabs. All donations are really helpful. They go straight towards the channels. Really, really appreciate it. And uh, wonderful shout out to the Patreon members, which include Bo Falcon. Fajuk Enterprises, James P, Miss Rebecca, as well as Scorpio guys. You guys rock. Thank you so much. Um, and I'll see you guys all in the next episode, okay? So be good to one another. Follow your dreams. Habanero Audi 5000. Goodbye, everybody.